because they have to uh, make their way into you, okay? Okay, but they better run. <laughs> What we just heard were the screams of Miss Loretta Pickard of Polk County, age 76 years old, perishing in 2018 in a dining room chair while she was set ablaze in a house fire. Mrs. Pickard suffered from breast cancer and recently had hip surgery and was utilizing a walker. Her husband had just left when she noticed smoke and fire and called 911 and stayed on the phone for 20 minutes. Now, there's an article that state that the 911 dispatcher didn't do what she was supposed to do, and she did the best that she could in that situation. She attempted to ask Mrs. Pickard if she can cover her face, if she can make her way to the door, but Mrs. Pickard was adamant that she was unable to walk. Now, I did find a daughter-in-law. Now, she can reveal herself if she wants to. She commented on another post about the story that her mother-in-law, in fact, could walk and would walk to the bathroom, but she was frozen in fear. So I want to make put that on the record. But this is not victim shaming or anything because there is blame here and it's on emergency personnel because for eight minutes... Most likely while she was screaming. In fact, while she was screaming, firefighters were outside. Not only were they outside, but a captain videographed it and put it on Snapchat while this woman burned to death. There were so many breakdowns. The first arriving engine didn't even have the correct communication to see the notes from the 911 dispatcher that someone was inside, nor did they arrive with the proper tools. They, in fact waited for others now they can say that they didn't know that someone was inside but the other parties that were arriving knew that and they could have told them that and the flames were so hot that as firefighters they were hesitant and they stated that due to the location of the home it was hard to get water to but everyone had time to pull out their phones and record it now, under Florida law, for whatever reason, $200,000 was the maximum that this family could settle for, for this tragedy. I do the stories like this, and I will cover stories like this because we have a major issue in our culture and our society when it comes to certain officials. We see time and time again officers taking advantage of their badges. We hear horror stories of troubled nurses or doctors or uh 911 dispatchers lacking empathy or training, mental issues. The stories just keep piling up before we need to understand there's a, a issue when it comes to certain personnel. Because firefighters, just as any other position, you are supposed to arrive to help. You take these positions because you want to make a difference. This isn't bagging groceries at the grocery store. When you accept a position as a nurse or a doctor or a firefighter or a cop, you are saying, I want to protect and help someone and do everything I can to do so. We don't stand outside and record because perhaps Miss Loretta would still be here. Now, we don't know why she didn't try to crawl. We're not even going to speculate. She called for help and help arrived and videographed her house fire while she sat in a dining room chair and burned. As always, 
draw your own conclusion. If you want, research the story yourself and see how you feel about it. I hope that Polk County has made numerous changes in their system. I hope more counties will continue to make changes with the breakdown with personnel and dispatchers and all health officials that take an oath to help. May you do your job effectively. As always, draw your own conclusion and stay true to you and make sure to like, comment, follow and subscribe.